and welcome to Modern Tetris 101. I'm Hitstun, I'm here on the commentary and also playing on the videos. This video is for all the people that busted their chops on the old NES and Game Boy versions of Tetris, but haven't really gotten into any of the newer versions, uh, like since the N64 days or so. There's a lot that's changed since then, and this video will take you through all the things you need to know to jump into any of the newer online Tetris games. Um, for instance, there's Tetris DS on the Nintendo DS, there's the crap Tetris Worlds and Tetris Evolution, but there's a really nice one that just came out on the Xbox Live Arcade, one of my personal favorites, Tetris Splash. Very nice. This game is $10 on Xbox Live Arcade. It's worth every bit of it. It's a great way to get yourself back into Tetris if you've been out of it for a while. It's a nice, fast game that I think all the Tetris players can agree on. First thing you need to learn is to hard drop. Press up on the directional pad to drop your piece to the ground immediately. This makes a huge impact on your speed. Use it a lot. All the online players use it exclusively. Tetris. The next thing you need to learn is to hold piece. Hit the left trigger or the right trigger to switch the piece that you have on the screen with the one on the left side. And you can also pull it right back out at any time. Tetris. Another thing about the newer Tetris games is that you can spin the piece into any conceivable position. It's way more forgiving than in the old Game Boy and NES uh, Tetris games. If there's open space anywhere near your block, you could probably get the block in there. You can also rotate the piece infinitely on the ground, and it won't lock down unless you're a multiplayer. It'll help you buy some time to figure out where that block's going to go. If you're going for this game's achievements, you're going to need to learn how to do combos. A combo in Tetris is done when you drop piece after piece after piece, all of which clear at least one line. To get the achievements, you need to drop nine consecutive pieces that clear lines. That takes setting up your stack with lots of single space gaps and a lot of luck. Also, you're going to need to know what a T-spin is. T-spin is done when you rotate a block into a gap where you can't just slide one in or drop one in. If there's one where you could just slide, it doesn't count. Now, it doesn't just have to be the T-block. You can take advantage of this game's relaxed rotation to get yourself out of lots of tight situations. Even physically impossible ones. Finally, if you're going to play multiplayer, either with your friends or online, you need to realize one thing. Speed is everything. Go as fast as humanly possible. Don't slow down for anything. The fastest player is going to win. Mainly, you want to send lots of doubles, triples, and tetrises, because those send your opponent garbage. Garbage pushes your player towards the top of the screen. If your opponent goes over the top of the screen by garbage, they die. Make sure it happens to them before it happens to you. And the best way to do this is to do double Tetris. Hold one stick, drop one, bring one out and drop the other one, hit the opponent with both at the same time, and their screen will go up by nine lines, nearly half of their screen. That's enough to turn a calm opponent into a panicking mess. If you hit, keep hitting with the double Tetris, all your opponents are going to fall, and you will win. Tetris, Tetris. That's all I've left to teach you. Go out and own some noobs. See you online.